Abe, you guys didn't start out exactly the way that you wanted to, but that final touchdown drive that you had lasted 10 minutes, 38 seconds. What do you think really got you going on that one? Um, well, I mean, a combination of a lot of things. I mean, like you said, we didn't start out fast. They started out and basically won the game within the first five minutes and jumped out on us. Um, and that can happen. You know, you give up what was 28, 35 points in the first half. You know, it's a hard enough hole to climb back out of. Uh, as far as the last drive goes, um, I just attribute that to, like, waking up. You know, unfortunately, it took three and a half quarters to do so. You know, and that's – that last drive is how we should play all the time and better. You know, but, I mean, just that last drive, just doing our job for the first time. What do you think woke you up? Uh, the fact that we was down uh, 35 to 6, you know, and it's embarrassing to be down by that much, knowing that you could be, could have done a lot better, you know? So at a certain point it's, it's, you got to wake up, you know, and kind of just strap up and go, you know, and not be so, be so feel sorry for me or anything. And I thought for, there was a little spurt to that today where it was kind of like, we got things going for a little bit, but we couldn't keep the pace up. Well, that has to speak to the resiliency of the team for the second half, right? I guess, I mean, I can make all the excuses about, you know, COVID and saying we're a young team, new coach and staff and all that. I mean, it is nice to see resiliency, of course, but the fact is you got to come out fast and not, and not um, you know, start fast in the third or fourth quarter at halftime or whatever, you know. They jumped out on us. They came out fast, and they, just, they deserve the credit for it. And you played with three different quarterbacks tonight, Jaden, Gunner, and Cam. What was the difference between them? I mean, I don't really, I mean, I don't really notice a, a difference. I mean, they're obviously different players, but I mean, I'm kind of locked into my job. So, I mean, I think if you want to know a difference, I would say ask a coach who really knows more about quarterbacks than me, because I don't really see him too much other than when they run out in front of me. Okay. Thank you. I will do that. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Yeah, sure. All right, any questions for Abe Lucas? Right tackle Abe Lucas, just raise your hand. Uh, Abe, first question is going to be, uh, or next question, Zach Armstrong from Kook Fan. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, for you guys on defense, uh, Quinn Roth, a guy you probably go up against quite a bit in practice. What was it like to see him succeed tonight? I mean, I appreciate him making the most of his opportunity. You know, that's a guy you can tell wants to play. Um, you know, and doesn't let the moment be too big for him. I mean, obviously, we're USC we're in a historic place. We're playing in the Coliseum, you know, it seats however many people. And usually it'll be a lot of noise, a lot of rip roaring, a lot of famous people have played here. Uh, it's nice to see somebody come out there and not really listen to any of that noise during the game, you know, and make the most of their opportunity. Thank you. All right, next question Dale Grummer from the Lewiston Tribune. Make sure you speak up, Dale. Hey, but uh, in reference to that last uh, answer, uh, Coach Rolo uh, talked about what he called uh, the pregame atmosphere. And he, he said it was the, uh, the, he was hoping it was just a quiet before the storm, uh, but apparently the quiet went into the game itself. Did you, did you kind of feel that quiet that he was alluding to? Um, that's an interesting question. I mean, I think everybody kind of prepares different for games. You know, I like to be quiet, as you say, before games. Some guys like to be really jazzed and really stoked. I mean, but regardless of how you prepare for a game, you know, if you're if you're rip roaring hyped up or if you say nothing, you got your headphones in, you know, it all comes back to coming out fast. You can't come out slow, you know, at any at any level of playing any sport. You know, if you come out slow and wax a day until you'll get beaten. That's what happens tonight. Thank you, Abe. Said thank you. All right, next next questions. Cody from the Evergreen. Go ahead, Cody. Hey, Abe. Uh, Coach Rolovich talked about uh, Dion McIntosh and kind of how he was uh, relied on a little bit more in pass protection. Um, did did you notice kind of any of that and just his his ability and his willingness to kind of step up and take on some blitzers? Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously you guys know Max is playing right now. And that was evident from tonight. I mean, Dion does a great job. I have I have faith in really all our running backs, you know, and I'm, I'm happy to play and block for any one of them, whether it be uh, Dion, 
Max play or JoJo or anybody, it really doesn't it really doesn't make much of a difference to me. I appreciate Dion's willingness to step up, um, but Max, you know, Max does a great job of that too. Dion does a great job of it, and you know, it makes it easier on us. Um, and what was kind of the the atmosphere or the mood at, at halftime? Was there uh, a player or a group of players or a coach that kind of um, was vocal and, you know, kind of uh, talking to everybody or was it more in individual groups? Uh, we try to be as vocal as we can. I mean, you know, there's the leaders on the team that have been here for years and years, you know, who have started back in 2017, you know, or even really before that, you know, like myself that just – really try to keep it from falling apart, you know, and it didn't fall apart. Um, we had guys, we had guys still locked in for the most part and still willing to come out and battle as best they can. You know, sometimes the fight doesn't end in victory, but I thought that coming out in the second half, it was a lot better of a fight than the first half. Okay, last question for Abe Lucas. Last question. All right, last question. Joel McHale from Spokane TV. Go ahead, Joel. Abe, I just wanted to ask about the, you know, couple weeks you guys had to wait to play this game because of COVID. How much was that a factor? Uh, someone mentioned rust earlier. Uh, John Blanchett said, asked if it was rust. Did you feel any of that rust? Uh, kind of. I mean, just in the sense that it was the – it's the first time back in a game setting since Oregon, you know, and that and that rust goes away after the first play. You know, it's not really anything that lingers around, at least not with myself. Um, two weeks definitely sucked uh, not playing, you know, and I mean, I, you got to be excited to play after two weeks, though, you know, and I think that some people are and some people are, you know, lackadaisical towards it. And, you know, that's something that has to change. You know, this is what we're here for. We're here to play football and we're here to succeed. And, you know, if you're not excited to play after two weeks of not playing in a season when you have limited opportunities, regardless, you know, what are you doing? 